I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Texas Longhorns and the Iowa Hawkeyes. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Hawkeyes. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Texas needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. I hate to agree with you, Kirk. Put some horns through the... Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He kicks it off. And he muffed it. Mackey fields it at the nine. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. One of the reasons I've been looking forward to this game is to see this safety play. Watching him live is probably much better than watching him on TV, don't you think, guys? This kid is a great defensive back. He's a vicious hitter. He's a great leader. He's good in pass defense. And when it all comes down to it, he does it all. I think this guy's going to have a big game today. I think we'll see at least one interception from him today. You heard it from Kirk Herbstreit. I like the prediction. The Longhorn line up with three wide. They'll get him for a loss. Here's third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 26. Texas sets up in the eye. Lane with a nice play fake. He fires, and it's the tight end. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. This is a simple case of finding the hole in the zone. The quarterback did a good job of recognizing the coverage and then found his man. Yep, give the receiver some credit, too. He got open, then made a nice catch for the first down. Texas lines up in a shotgun set, throws it to the outside, and he's got him on the street. He's all the way down to the 16-yard line. Great pass play. This guy comes up with a great catch here. He's got good hands, and when he's on, there's no one in America that can catch him. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Texas lines up in a double tight set. Lane with the play fake. He lets it go. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They'll line up for the extra point here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score, Texas, seven, Iowa, nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends it downfield. Mohammed fields it at the 11. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. The offense will take over at the 25. Three wideouts here. Drops back on first down. He delivers. Complete. And down he goes at the 32. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Run right side. Ingram tackles him at the 35. First and ten. The 
Hawks. Line up in an eye formation. Setting up play action. Looks. He chucks it downfield. He got it! Touchdown, Hawkeyes. They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. Three, Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. Long ball, right side. Incomplete pass. They went for it, but they were denied. Well, that was a situation where they had to go for it. I agree. They can't afford to let the other team hold on to the ball. The time is ticking away. They'll take over at the 45. First and 10. Number three is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Inside handoff. And they make the stop at the 42. Three yards there on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. They hand it off. Daly brings him down for a loss. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 43-yard line. Looking to throw. He looks. Let's it fly. And it's going the other way. Brought down at the 50. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Texas in a five-wide set. Throws it out there. They can't connect. Incomplete. Thrown just a bit too far for the wide receiver. Second, Second down. Ball on the 50-yard line. Texas lines up with three receivers. He passes it. That close to being intercepted. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time player, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, the ball should have been picked off. On sportsmanlike contact, 15 yard penalty, first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 35. Lane is back in the gun. First down, look at the throw. Throws this one out to the left. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open between the zone coverage. First down, someone got a hand on it. Nice job knocking that one down. You're right, good job there on the coverage. That's just what they teach you to do. Second, Second down. Ball on the 15-yard line. Texas comes out of the shotgun. The halfback with a carry. They'll bring him down at the 12. Campbell gets three yards on the carry. They'll line it up again on third down. Texas lines up with three receivers. Lane steps back to pass. It's tipped. He just beat the ball to the receiver's hands on that play. Nice deflection. Yep, and now it's fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. From the gun. Drops back. It is he throws. It's deflected. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. 
They'll set up shot at the 12-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Hands it off. He's taken down at the 12. Iowa just took their first time out. Second down and 10 to go. The Hawks go with the eye formation. Harmon on the handoff. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. The Hawkeyes take a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. They line up at the 12. It's third and 10. Back to pass. Surveys the field. He'll dump this one off. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. So they're set to punt this one away. Number five awaits the snap. Number five punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Collins fields it for 42. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Well, the old kicker can stop warming up because it's forward down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game. First down, 10 to go. Texas comes to the line with three wide. Throws down the middle, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Texas calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Texas lines up for the shotgun set. He looks to throw on first down. He flings it, and this one falls incomplete. Collins was the intended target. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 42. It's second and 10. Three wide out here. Looks. Zips it right. It's deflected. Incomplete. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. First of all, the passer. The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And when the quarterback releases the football, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's bad for your team, and it makes you look like a fool. The Longhorn call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. First down, 10 to go. The Longhorn set up in the gun. He gets the pass away. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. Second, Second down, 10 yards to go. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. It's third down. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. It's a picture perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Aggies of Texas AM. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Aggies. The Fighting Irish have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? Notre Dame looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is gonna have their hands full, because I think they're a little overmatched. 
I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. The Notre Dame. Notre Dame lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. And this one's a short kick. Kirk takes from the 10. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Today we get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good set of corners. You can have the corners, Kirk. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. He's a proven leader, and he won't let his team down. They line up at the 37. So it's second and 10 from the gun handoff and they got to him before he could get back to the line taken back three yards it's third and 13 ball on the 34 they line up in an eye back to pass steps up looking bounce off the would-be tackler they bring their quarterback down they got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 27 is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Floyd fields it at the 34. And we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. Number seven with four wide receivers. First down, looking to throw. The senior makes the catch. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. Yeah, they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. Second and short. Ball on the 49-yard line. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Floyd gets the ball. Again, tackles him at the 49. We've got a first and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Irish set up in the gun. He drops back, steps up. Number seven lets it fly. Smith was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And he's taken down at the 46 yard line. Number 36 gets three yards on the carry. They line up at the 46. Third down. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looks. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. He makes the PAT. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score. Texas A&M, 17. Notre Dame, 13. Texas A&M lines up for the kickoff. Floyd and number five back deep to return. Kicks it away. Floyd fields it at the 19. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Well, they have a little bit of time, but I think it's very crucial that they get the ball in the end zone on this possession. I agree with you, Kirk. 
They can take their time, but a field goal is just about out of the question. One man backfield. Inside give. Win with the tackle at the 37 yard line. That's a three yard pickup. It's second down. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Irish line up with four wideouts. He passes it, has it to the senior. So they execute, move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. They line up at the 42. Third down. Number seven and four receivers lined up here. And he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. And he stops short of the first down. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Pro lines up in the deep back. High formation. The ball came free. And they fall on the loose ball. Kirk, what do they need to do to finish this game off? At this stage in the fourth quarter, they have to do a better job of protecting the football. It's got to be priority number one. But as we almost saw right there, anything can happen. The Aggies go with the eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 35. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Number one lines up in the shotgun, looks to pass. He's looking, he's rolling right, throwing left. His receiver has it, and they make the stop at the 18-yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. The Aggies line up in an eye formation. They hand it off. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's second down and nine to go. And they got him for a loss. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They line up in an eye. Look at the throw. Looks. Number one. Let's it go. Picked off by the linebacker. Why would you make a pass like that when you've got the lead? It's simple. You don't. That was not a good choice by the quarterback. It sure wasn't. Call another play. Dump the ball short. Call a draw play. Run a sweep. Something. But don't put the ball in the air where the defense can make a play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Notre Dame comes out in the shotgun. Throws it. Incomplete pass. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You got to squeeze that ball, then think about where you're going to go. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 20. From the gun. Back to pass. Got hit as he threw. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. It's third down and 10. They'll work from the shotgun. He looks, throws, got it. He's all the way down to the 47. Notre Dame will call a timeout, and they've got two remaining.
First, and First ten. down, 10 to go. The Irish come out in the shotgun. He steps up. He passes it. Caught. And he's tackled in the open field. The Fighting Irish take a timeout. That was their second timeout. They line up at the 40. Second down. Going with the shotgun here. Looks to pass. Looking. Throws. He snags it. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Notre Dame will use their final timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Irish come out showing three wide. Rolls to the right, looks. They bring the quarterback down. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still first down. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. So now Notre Dame really needs something. First and 20 at the 47. <laughs> Winner takes on Oklahoma. Here's Beisman. Beisman needs to throw. He'll go to the left side. He's got four. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Holy St. Laurent. The Irish win. They pulled it off at the last possible second. Notre Dame, how about that? Michael Floyd, he's a good receiver for a reason. Everyone says, watch for this guy. And they did. Notre Dame has sent A&M out of the tournament, and now they have Oklahoma to deal with next time. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Florida Gators and the Midshipmen of Navy. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Midshipmen. The Midshipmen believe that they're the better team. Who are you taking in this one, Herbie? Florida comes into this one with a good passing attack, and they have a difference maker lining up at wide receiver. In fact, Lee, I think he's one of the best receivers in all of college football. Hey, Kirk, AARP isn't calling this one wrong. That's right, Gator fan. Ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Richardson fields it at the 18. Shakes off a tackle. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Today we get to watch a spectacular athlete at running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, Defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game today. That makes two of us then. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 32. Florida comes to the line with three wide. Demps takes a handoff. Rutledge brings him down for a loss. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They would come with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. From their own 29-yard line, third down and 12. They'll work from the shotgun. Looks, hit as he throws, and they couldn't hook up on that one. I think the pressure forced that miscue, guys. Yeah, good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. 
And they're ready to punt this one away. Jenkins is the deep man awaiting the return. Chandler punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Jenkins fields it at the 27. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. It's the fullback. And down he goes at the 38-yard line. About five yards there on the fullback carry. Second down. Ball on the 38-yard line. Navy lines up in the power eye set. Hawley pitches it out. They'll knock him down for a loss. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. They'll line up at the 35. We've got third and eight. Option right. He laterals the ball. And he's stopped behind the line. Ball on the 41. The midshipmen come out in the 34 defense. Number seven slings it. Right. Tackle made at the 37. About four yards on that play. Second and six. Ball on the 37 yard line. Florida sends up in the eye. Demps gets a call. Sheds one tackler. Tackle at the 32. Demps. Picks up five with the carry. We've got third down and one. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Gators line up in the Maryland I formation. Jukwu, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. And they get enough on the ground for the first. From the 29-yard line, first down. The Gators with a stack backfield. Play action, he's going right. Incomplete pass. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The midshipmen line up at a 3-4. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Stewart tackles him at the 20. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. Yeah, it's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. This defense faces another third down. Defense lines up in a 3-4. They'll knock him down for a loss. Taken back a yard. One yard loss. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up. And it sails through the upright. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Well, he better stop celebrating. There's still time in the clock, and he has to kick the ball off. He kicks off. Carlton from his own end zone. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Down three, under two minutes to go. It doesn't get much more exciting than this, Kirk. And this is it. A field goal will tie it, and a touchdown would most likely win it. Everything comes down to this possession. Hawley drops to throw. He lets it go. Batted ball. They can't connect. Incomplete. Carlton was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Looking to throw. Throws it. Oh, great catch. 
Richardson with a takedown at the 37-yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. He passes it. Cronin was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. It's second and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Pauley back to pass. He goes downtown. And it's incomplete. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Ball on the it's third down. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He unloads it. Got it to him on the run. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. On the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. First, First and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Pauly set to go to the air. Look. Rolls to the right. It's deflected. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference on the defense. First down. That was a good call. The defender was all over him. Sometimes holding up a defender is better than letting him go for a big game. Or even worse, a touchdown. It's first down. Pauley drops back to pass. He gets rid of it. And this one falls incomplete. The tailback, the intended target. We well, hear the quarterback put just a little bit too much on the ball and overthrew him. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Pauly back to throw. He gets the pass away. And that one's fallen incomplete. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. That'll bring up third down. From the 39-yard line. Third down, 10 yards to go. He drops back. He throws left. Got him again. Oliver tackles him at the 20-yard line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. Personal foul. Nothing passing. 15 yard penalty. Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Uh, he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. They're threatening inside the 20. Pauly drops the throw, lets it go. They can't connect, incomplete. Carlton was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Pauly drops the throw, look out. That's incomplete. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. Pauly drops back, steps up, throws, intercepted in the end zone. That's not what you want to do when you're losing this late in the game. Nope. here and with me as always Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Rebels of Ole Miss. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Rebels. 
The Rebels expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Ole Miss has one of the more dominant players in college football at the defensive tackle position. His quickness off the ball has him in the backfield in no time. And I expect a few tackles for a loss and a sack as his team gets to W. Hey, Kirk, AARP isn't calling this one wrong. The Rebels are going to win. The Rebel come out in the shotgun. Gives it a tailback. Tillman with a takedown at the 39-yard line. Nothing going on that one. From their own 39-yard line. Third down and two to go. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Amos is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away. Amos fields it at the 22. So they put the ball in the hands of this offense to try to build upon their one possession lead. Right now, I think they're more worried about controlling the ball than putting points on the board, Coach. That's true, Kirk. But if they put points on the board now, they can make it a two possession ball game. And that would be pretty difficult to overcome. Arizona State comes out on the shotgun. None takes him down for a loss. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 23. The Devils come out showing three wide. He's taken down at the 28. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Third and nine. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Sun Devil line up with five receivers. Looking, he throws it. Oh, great catch. They'll bring him down at the 48. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. From the gun. Here's the give. And he's tackled at the 42. Number 22 gets six yards on the carry. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 42. Plummer lines up with the shotgun. They'll go with the run once again. Brought down at the 41-yard line. So at the most, he gains a few inches. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Sun Devil with four receivers, looks, throws it to the outside, and that one's fallen incomplete. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. Devil line up with a single set back to you. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Big stop there for the defense. And you can feel a little bit of momentum shift there, Coach. Yep, that was a very crucial turnover on downs because now this offense has a chance to get themselves right back into the game. The Rebel set up in the gun. Manning drops back to pass. He's got the fullback. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Good pickup on that pass play to the fullback. Look at the soft hands in that big fella. Throw it to him again. First and ten. Drops back on first down. Let's it fly. And he dropped it. White was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 47. 
Manning is back in the gun. Manning drops back. Here they come. Manning loses it. And the defense is on it. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're